name is John Marchant. I'm a park section manager here for Shoreline. It is our responsibility to uh, take care of the environment here. There's lots of things that we do, not only for the burrowing owls, but a lot of species that we have here at Shoreline. Oh. Burrowing owls are declining significantly within Santa Clara County. They actually estimate that within the next 20 years they'll be extirpated or locally extinct. Fortunately here at Shoreline, uh, the city of Mountain View has been very successful in maintaining a breeding population. This actually is the largest breeding population of burrowing owls on the peninsula. Uh, a survey this week showed there's about 12 burrowing owls on our park here. And since the 1980s we've had over 250 chicks successfully hatch here at the park. So we've done a lot of efforts to try and preserve the burrowing owls and our efforts have been very successful. We love the fact in Mountain View that we're doing habitat for, uh, for burrowing owls and basically on the other side we have Google headquarters and that's kind of who we are and we, we just love being able to work on, on both sides of, of nature and, and high tech. One of the creative solutions that staff came up with is when they wanted to reduce the problem of the coots and geese that were in the ponds over there using the golf course and creating a big mess for the golfers. The ponds that have now been filled and seeded with native vegetation and then we're planting perennials as well so that to use that land to improve the habitat for the owls. They also provide flowers, fruit and nuts at certain times of the year from spring right through to winter. So it's providing cover for a lot of prey species and also providing an additional food source. On the slope over here we've planted several plants which are habitat plants but also to deter golfers from coming into this sensitive habitat and retrieving their golf balls. Burrowing owls are actually opportunistic and generalistic when it comes to their diet. They eat a wide variety of species including rodents, reptiles, amphibians and insects. So these rock piles and brush piles will actually attract a lot of these species by providing refugia for them. I received a fellowship from Together Green, which is a partnership between National Audubon and Toyota, the car company, to work with the City of Mountain View and San Jose State University and bring students to create and restore habitat for boring owls here at Shoreline Park. We at Santa Clara Valley Audubon Society hope that the restoration and habitat creation efforts that we're doing here will be successful in helping the boring owls of shoreline persist and increase in numbers. We also hope that other cities in our area will follow suit in enhancing habitat for the owls and that this will help this species persist in our county.